after removing the graphics card I had to release this handle just the information and the screw over here then I removed the graphics card that was sitting over the PCIe slot for the SSD. Now this motherboard, the X470 from Gigabyte, comes um, with, a, with a cooler for the SSD. So I had to remove the screw here. This is an 80 millimeter SSD that I'm going to place here. Now I show you the cooler. Looks like this. Hold it right here. And at the bottom, it looks like you have um, a pad that does fit on the top of my SSD so that the heat can better be transferred from the SSD to the heatsink. And as I just think about it, it goes in here. So the heatsink is for the maximum length of 110 millimeters. And as you can see, my SSD is only 80 millimeters. Okay, um, uh, when I saw this with the heatsink with the length, I thought I better read the manual from the motherboard. I have built the computer myself. I put everything together. So um, I just film it for you for a second. And on the second point, it says um, I should uh, get a, the standoff and insert this one first. So I was uh, grabbing my bag with all the stuff I had from back then and I found two little bags still closed. Um, one with a stand of one with a screw and if you look at the, at the numbers both start with about the same 12k S. So um, I guess I have to mount this one first. So to put in the SSD first and after the SSD is in I then take this screw and the heatsink You see the screw I took out from the bag is the one in the back and it is much smaller than the one I re the one in front of which I removed from with together with the heatsink and um I changed the view angle a little bit. So this is my um, SSD. See at the back there is nothing. And there you have this little cut in the connector. And you will then see when you take a light that you have this kind of... And you have this... Oh, maybe it's too bright now. That you have this separator in the connector as well and so I have to place it like this well anyway usually the parts are on top for the cooler so, so it goes in like uh, like this and I have already placed here in the back you see here is the one standoff to um, to attach the solid state drive and here is for the heat sink with the different screw. By the way, don't be scared. It is, um, <clears throat> can't remember where else we have that right now, but when you mount it inside that slot, it is a little bit, you see now, it gets in an angle and you really have to push it down to mount it. This is normal. This is um, 
little kids cared about that fact. So this is what it looks like when it is inside. I'm trying to get a good shot for you. And um, now it's time for the heatsink. So the heatsink looks like this and there's a little slit on top of it in the in the holder here. And when I put it down, you try to get a picture again. You can see it goes then on top of it and it has a little tension right now and I can you can see that it returns back. And now what I have to do as a, as a final step is I have to, um, to make sure that the surface of the, of the SSD is clean and remove the plastic here so that the heat absorber, this little pad that is attached on top of it, um, is free to bring the heat over to the heatsink. Just to show it is not final attached, last but not least, make sure it will fit together with your graphics card. As you can see I have here a model that is a passive cooled. I don't like noise, that's the reason why I have such a large cooler inside that can turn very slowly. And um, <clears throat> so that everything fits together, but I mean, the, the graphics card was there before, I didn't change the place of the heatsink, so I should, should be safe that it fits again. And the final view, when I finished all of it, there is really not much space. I hope it helps you.